So as I mentioned earlier, um, I'm doing work for both uh, ONR and CERDEC. And these are, um, I'm going to just go quickly through a couple of slides uh, from CERDEC. Uh, this is done by a guy named Jason Der Derner that, uh, that we're working with there. So the problem statement is you've, you've got this ground vehicle. You've got a whole bunch of different systems. And they're, they're all sitting there with their, you know, they've all been implemented separately, generally have separate boxes. Uh, and they take up a lot of room, and you know it, it, it makes it hard to fit people. You know, it's, it's just hard to fit everything on the platform. Uh, and so, what the, the goal here is is to come up with a converged architecture to get rid of a bunch of the redundancy and to uh, it basically shrink things down uh, and and have things that can serve multiple purposes. Uh, so, there's a hardware software convergence initiative uh, which I've been working with. Uh, there's an yeah, integral product. A WIPIT, Working Level Integrated Product Team, which uh, I've been uh, been attending their meetings and contributing to, um, where we're coming up with an architect. Actually, we've come up with an architecture uh, to converge things uh, and make it so we can reuse boxes. You know, what's shown there down the bottom, you get things like a radio head or, or an antenna on the top of the vehicle that can be used for multiple applications. And they're doing this uh, with uh, layered standards. Uh, my contribution is, uh, you know, second from the bottom, they have the hardware layer, OpenVPX. I've been doing a lot of work uh, and to get OpenVPX set up to be able to support this effort. They're using Victory down at the network layer. Uh, more is being used to control, um, control RF resources like uh, radio heads, like the antennas. Uh, and then FACE is being used uh, for software. So this is showing the, uh, the backplane from this effort, which is actually, uh, Michael showed a pic, Michael Monroe from Elma showed a picture of the backplane yesterday. Um, so we've got the backplane profile up at the top. This is a slightly out of date version, but uh, it's basically the backplane profile. And then down the bottom are some of the slot profiles. And, and one of the things that's worth pointing out on the slot profiles, remember those first open VPX slot profiles I showed had a whole bunch of white for user defined pins. Notice that the payload and the switch card down the bottom there have no user-defined pins. Um, we actually, in July, we got in quite a discussion about user-defined pins on one of these profiles. Somebody wanted to have some. So what we ended up doing was just making a, another version of the slot profile in the spec. And if they really want to take advantage of the user profile, you know, they'll, they'll refer to that slot profile instead of this one. But this is the one that, uh, that CERDIC is going to be specifying. Uh, and then the middle one's a yeah, radio clock card, uh, which has a few user-defined pins uh, left. And they could be used for another clock. And there's guidance in the spec uh, suggesting how to use them and as, as that to help interoperability if they do get used. 